Hello everyone, this is Ed. Welcome to another Exchange 2016 video. In this video, I want to show you how to install the Exchange Management Tools on a, either a member server or a Windows 10 machine. Um, as I don't have a Windows 10 machine to test on, we're not going to run through the setup end-to-end -end, uh, in a sense that it will install the tools. But I want to show you how you can install it and what kind of errors you'll get if you don't actually follow the um, server re uh, prerequisites guide that Microsoft give you. Now there's two ways to install this. You can do this through the GUI or you can do it from uh, an elevated command prompt which we were going to do. I'm going to show you both. So I've mounted the ISO E drive and I'm going to launch the setup as administrator. Now this machine doesn't have anything installed, it's the base OS, it's a domain controller, that's about it. So this should give us errors which I want to show you because I haven't technically followed the documentation. But that's the joys of it, that it actually tells you where you've gone wrong. Now especially if you're new to Exchange and you want to install the tool so you can manage your servers. Um, it looks like a normal Exchange setup to the point where you can actually choose what kind of role you want to install. So first of all, we can click next to check for updates. It's not going to find any. What it does then, is it, it checks for space. Click next. Now, it's going to copy the exchange files. Um, hopefully it will copy them quite quickly. It's not a badly spec machine, it's not the fastest, but should complete. Um, generally, uh, a rule of thumb that I have with if, if you're installing Exchange or the tools is always do a reboot before you do the installation because 9 out of 10 times you're going to go through everything and then it's going to get to the point where once you install it's going to say to you there's a pending reboot from another installation. Um, and you might think to yourself, oh but I haven't done anything yet but Windows updates runs in the background, you might have had uh, the Windows malicious tool uh, installed for example that requires reboot or whatever the case is. Um, that's generally what I do before I actually do any installations because then it uh, you know, avoids time wasting. So, <clears throat> once this is done, like I say, it's going to look like an exchange installation, but it's not. Um, so don't freak out when you think, oh, I've just installed exchange on my machine and now, oh, no, 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 that's not the case. Okay, so we should almost be done. And then we can continue. So in the meantime, I have launched an elevated command prompt to show you the other way as well. So you can see it's now initializing the setup. Um, and then we'll go through the steps or through the motion to run through the, the setup. This should complete in a few seconds. OK, there we go. Gives you introduction, next you have to accept the license term, next leave the recommended settings default. Now here is where you're going to choose management tools. You'll notice that the next button enabled when I did that and I'm still able to choose a role if I wanted to but in this case I only want the management tools. I click next. Now before we carry on, if you choose this it will go and install the features that you need etc. But I want to show you the errors that come up so that you're aware of what you need to do and where you need to find the information to actually run this. So next, leave the default. Now it's going to do a readiness check and then a prerequisite check and this is where it's going to obviously fail. Um, because I haven't done what is required from Microsoft point of view. And that's what I'll show you now. So you can see there's a pending reboot from previous installation. And I see I've just got a Windows update here, which is probably that. 
but it says that it needs .NET 4.8 and it needs um, these IIS features and components to be installed and it's also missing Visual C++ 2012 redistributable. Okay, great. So obviously you can't carry on with the setup because um, even if you installed everything, because you've got this here that preventing you. Okay, so if we go to the second method, you can see how we've gone to my eDrive, the ISO, yours might be a G, a D, whatever the case is. You, run, you type setup space for slash so accept exchange license terms, and in the role, we're going to be doing the management tools and press enter. Now, we're going to get the same result as the GUI, but I want to show you instead of clicking through how many screens to get to selecting the management tools, you can see with a one liner, I'm selected, I'd say this is what I want. It goes and it looks like it's an unattended setup, but it's only doing the management tools because that's what I've specified. So while we wait for this, if we head over to uh, docs.microsoft.com and we look at the prerequisites for Exchange Server, now I chose uh, 2016. Um, if we scroll down to where it says installing the client prerequisites on a Windows 10 machine. You can see it's telling me I need to install Visual C++. Here is the optional Windows features which is required and you can simply copy this, we'll copy the whole line, you can put it in elevated uh, PowerShell window and it will install it and then obviously reboot. Now Windows um, 8.1 is also supported but it requires .NET 4.8 Visual C++ 2012 and then the optional features as well. If you head over back to our install, you can see it's done a prerequisite check. Um, it's saying it needs 4.8.NET. It's saying that it is a pending reboot and you can see these are required and then the Visual C++. And pretty much if you fulfill all these other requirements, the management tools will install in your machine without a problem. Thank you very much for watching.